Hey everyone and welcome back. I look a little different. I got my hair chopped. I absolutely love it. This is day two so I tried to curl it myself and my hairdresser did a phenomenal job yesterday. Um, the front looks okay. The back I'm not so good at curling so you can't see that. So That's okay. <laughs> For this video, I'm going to be showing you some products that I picked up from Shein, specifically their makeup from their She Glam line. I believe they have everything to do like a full face. It's not too overwhelming, but they do have some, like they come out with different collections and stuff like that, um, but it's not over the top overwhelming. Um, everything I got from them was really well packaged and everything seemed to be um, sealed nicely and that sort of thing. There was no, nothing seemed kind of fishy or off with any of it. So if you would like to see what I got and how those things performed, then keep on watching. So I have a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna show it to you as I'm applying it and using it. Um, so we're gonna start off with foundation. I am just gonna be using my Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundation that I have. I have it in the shade Natural, Natural Beige M1. Um, but to apply it, it came in, I know some people hate that, sorry. Um, I got this sponge. Does it say what it is? It doesn't. I will link everything in the description box below um, so that you can check it out with the pricing and stuff. I really liked this one because I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but it has like the flat side here and then here and here and then the round um, bottom. So I'm just going to go and am I recording? I am. Okay. I'm just going to go and wet this and then I will be right back. So it is all wet now and it has grown considerably to from what it was originally. So yeah, I'm just going to put the foundation on. It feels pardon me this feels really nice and squishy and soft I don't think it's going to be a problem and yeah, let's get on this thing is really big I'm not even sure what size to, side to use to do what I'm doing so um yes. okay so that went on nice I think I'm going to add a little bit more coverage um I like this I'm going to see how it works with concealer and stuff too um but it's nice and soft it's not hurting my face and I don't feel like it's sucking up um, product more than any other sponge kind of would. Um, you know how some of them are super porous and they seem to soak up a lot? This one didn't seem to do it, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more, finish off kind of what I have on my palette here. I did get several other tools that I'm gonna kind of use some of them. No, I won't be able to use all of them. Um, I did get this. It's just a really tiny, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know why I thought it would be more authentic to leave everything in the packaging and drive you guys nuts with the plastic, but I did that, so. <laughs> ah. Anyway, this is just a little clear palette. It's just like a, not even acrylic, it's just like plastic. Um, I got this so that, um, for my makeup kit. I have a metal one here. I have a couple of them, but I do have the metal one. Um, but yeah, I got this because for shade matching and stuff, someone was like, oh, it's better. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then it came with like a little spatula thing as well. I'm not using that today. And it also came with instructions. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I also got, again, apologize for the crinkling. I also got some of these. I have a couple bigger ones, but I didn't have any little ones, so I wanted to try these. They're like the little velour puffs. I wanted these specifically for my under eyes. Um, I've tried using some of these when I'm doing makeup on people, you know, so you don't put your hands on them, but I find I don't have that problem of pressing my hand into someone's face when I'm doing their makeup. Um, but yeah, I don't mind trying it for myself. So I have these, which I'll probably use with some powder. Um, I did buy this foundation brush. as well and I just really liked the shape of it it's kind of like this um, but I already did my foundation so we'll save this for another day <laughs> and then I also bought this set I think it's a foundation brush and a concealer brush okay so yeah we have this um, it's nice and soft it's a little bit firm it's a flat kind of kabuki style brush it's kind of similar to this one except this one they're obviously like different sizes and stuff but it's got kind of the slope this one's a little less dense than this one and then I love these kind of um, concealer brushes it's a little bit dense it's a little bit bigger um, I really like these I find they fit in the hollow of the eye really nicely and so yeah I have those I'm gonna try this big thing I'm gonna use this kind of top side for this I can't see what I'm doing 
the thing with concealer and sponges is I always feel like I lose all my coverage. So I think we got a little bit. Okay, I'm done with the sponge for now. I liked it. I find it's a bit too big, um, especially for the under eyes. But I mean, it's a fun shape. I like it. I'll use it. Now on it to my actual concealer, not just the color corrector. I'm going to use the Quo one. And I'm going to go in with the brush for this. So, okay, so again, this is what it looks like. Oh, it's nice and soft. And no, I'm not the type of person that washes everything when I get it because I don't have that kind of patience. Okay, that went on nicely. Now I'm just going to kind of move on with the rest of them. No, I'm not. I forgot what I got. <laughs> okay, so I have a couple of cream products here. So I do have the Sun Sculpt Liquid, Liquid Contour in Soft Tan and the Color Bloom liquid blush in 101 love cake so I'm gonna put both of these on this is the contour box okay, and the nice one of the things that I I found with um, some of the she glam makeup that I got um, it does have the expiry dates expiry dates listed on them as well not that I'm keeping the box to find out but this is good until 2025 so I got a few years um, this is what the contour looks like in the packaging it's very very pretty and then it's got the sponge. Ooh, this is gray. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't turn green on me. I find things that are very cool turn green on me. Yes. Do I have a brush out here? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> we are ready. Okay. Oh, that's a funny color. This is definitely not like a tan color. It's definitely more of a contour, which is what I wanted. But again... Sometimes the extra gray turns green on me. Oh, I'm glad I only did one side because this is very cool. And as much as I want it to look like a shadow, I don't want it to look ashy. Okay, that blended out really nice. I'm okay with that. It didn't turn green. <laughs> So I'm good. I'm going to do the other side now. Definitely one that you don't need a lot of. So just dot it. I wouldn't like do full on stripes with it. Otherwise you may regret your choices. Wow, that blends so nicely. I would do one side at a time because it does seem to dry a little bit quick. So I think if you put it on both sides and then went in to blend your other side, like the second side, it might give you some trouble. But it did blend nicely, so I'm just gonna put them on my nose. I don't know how it's gonna work with this. But so far, I really like this. Will it hold up throughout the whole day? I don't know. Will it break down and go blotchy? I don't know. But initial first impression, I like. Again, it blends out beautifully. It's not lifting my foundation at all. Um, yeah, that was that was nice. Okay, so <laughs> I'm also gonna go in with the blush that I bought. Let's just be a monster and rip the box open because. And this is the packaging on the liquid blush. Again, this is in the shade Love Cake. It's so pretty. I love this packaging. Well done. Okay, and again we have like the sponge. So. I'm debating if I go directly on my face with this or not because I'm not very good with liquid blush. Do I put it on my hand and then put it on my, yeah, I'm going to put it on my hand and then put it on my face just because I know me and the mess that I make. So I'm going to put this on. Okay. I like it. I don't really feel like it's picking up my foundation at all. I do want to just blend it in kind of into my cheeks a little bit more because I feel, there we go. That's better. Now I'm going to take a chance. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere today. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to put this directly on my face to see how it works. I'm going to try and be generous. Like it's kind of not gobbed up on there, but there is a generous amount of product on there. So I don't want to go too heavy. So we're going to just start with a couple of dots 
and then go from there. <laughs> I feel like I might need more. Maybe not. Okay, this is blending out nice. And even putting it directly on my face, it's not picking up the foundation like a lot of cream and liquid blushes do. I like it. I would use it again. Now I'm going to set my face and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these for my under eyes and then powder my face. And um, I will come back with the next step that I have, which is a powder blush. So I have this blush here. It is the lightweight matte blush and I have the shade Seduction. Let's see, is it going to match what I put on my face already? I don't know. The packaging again on these is so nice. It's like a, it's got a little bit of weight to it and it's pretty. And then I've already swatched this, like put my finger in it. This is what it looks like. How pretty is that? That is so lovely. Oh my goodness. Get on my face. Okay. Brush. Brush. Now I'm just going to, I know it's got the ombre thing. I'm just going to rub it all around. It does have a bit of kick up in the pan. That's okay. I'm not sure how well the lighting is from this angle, but it is what it is for today. That's pretty. It's blending out nice. I like the shade. It's not going on splotchy. It's a nice blush. Very nice. Okay. And I have my eyes and everything done now. I did use the two Natasha Denona Zendo palettes on my eyes today. Just a mixture of a few shades from, or a couple shades, a few shades, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's what's on my eyes. Um, next up, we are doing, I am doing, you're along for the journey. <laughs> I'm doing brows and I have the She Glam Brows on Demand 2-in-1 Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Taupe. Um, again, I love the plastic on. I think I just left it on because I wanted to show too. Everything was really well packaged. It didn't just come. Um, everything pretty much came wrapped in plastic and then inside the box as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of encouraging because I know sometimes when I order stuff just from Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, I'm just like, mm, I'm not sure. Should I trust this? There's no safety seal. There's no sticker, nothing. Um, so this is one. It does have a micro pencil on one end and then it has a brow pen on the other. So um, let's just see because <laughs> me and brow products, especially <laughs> brow pens, don't do so well sometimes. I think this will be a good shade for me. Um, for me, I like a brow pencil that is a little bit creamy. Um, but not too creamy, but I don't want it to pull out my brow hairs because we don't have a lot. Um, and I like a brow pen that will work over my foundation and stuff because I do my brows after I don't like doing them ahead of time, um, like before my foundation and everything. And I don't want it to turn my brows green. So that is what we are looking for right now. So <laughs> let's see what we can do. There's no spoolie. So let me grab one. Perfect timing. Okay, can we see what I'm doing? Okay, first impressions of the first stroke. I liked it. Funny story, when I was getting my hair done yesterday, my friend was like, oh, I love your brows, they look so good. I'm like, really? It's just pencil in there. I'm like, I have no brows. <laughs> She's like, well, you did a good job. So, <laughs> okay, so far I like it. I like the color. It's dark enough. Um, and it's cool enough for me. It's not pulling red. So I'm going to just do finish off with the side first with the brow pen. It's just a fine tip micro brow pen. Let me show you. I have the NYX one for comparison. So I would say they are pretty Pretty darn close in size. size. The She Glam one might be a little bit thicker on the top, but it comes to a fine point. So, I don't know. We shall see. We'll see how it works. Okay. I 
have to say I like this so far it went on fine over my uh, foundation and all the product that I have on my face it didn't give out part way through um, the pencil is creamy enough that it goes in nicely but um, waxy enough that it's staying in there and not just blending away when I use my spoolie uh, speaking of which what did I do with my spoolie because I would like to here it is <laughs> I would like to use it again Okay, so I guess now it's basically to see how well it's going to wear throughout the day. Um, yeah, I like this. So my battery is going to die in a second. So I'm going to just go off camera and do this eye and then we will come back with my lashes. I am back. My battery, um, I thought I had one charged. I didn't, so I had to wait a bit. Anyway, it doesn't matter because you don't care, but the camera might have moved a little bit. Um, because of that. So next up I am going to do my lashes and I picked up a couple of mascaras from She Glam. They are their tubing mascaras and if you've watched a couple of my recent videos you would know that I have fallen in love with this um, Thrive Mascara Tubing Math Thrive liquid lash extensions tubing mascara. I love this mascara. It is so good. But even though it is available in Canada now, Canada now it is around $40 um, with the price of it and shipping. Uh, so it's a pricey mascara. So I'm on the hunt to see if I can find one that that is just as good. Now, I did do a couple of wear tests with the She Glam ones that I have. So one of them says that it is volumizing and that would be the precision tubing mascara um both the boxes look the same so you have to look at like the little things here so this one says fl full flex tubing mascara this one is supposed to be lengthening and then the one on the bottom that says precision tubing mascara is supposed to be both volumizing and um lengthening now having said that I don't find this is very lengthening and this is not volumizing at all. However, this is lengthening. So yesterday I took a couple of pictures with the Thrive Mascara on with the lengthening one because the wands are both very similar. So this is the She Glam one. And then again, I will show you the Thrive one. So I have some pictures, I'll put them here. And as you can see, you can see a bit of a difference. I will say this, the Thrive one is a little bit more volumizing, but the She Glam one, it gives me a lot more volume. It's dark from the root to the tip of my lashes, whereas I find the Thrive one is really dark kind of at the base and then it fades a bit. I still like the Thrive one a lot. Um, I wish this one was volumizing as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take this one, which is the volumizing one, and I'm going to take this one, which it has a different wand. I will show you it. This is, sorry, the other one was lengthening and this one is the volumizing one. So I'm going to try and combine the two of them together because these together are still significantly cheaper than buying one tube of the Thrive one. I will say I wore them kind of comparing them yesterday. They both held up the same. They both looked the same at the end of the day. Neither of them left raccoon eyes on my eyes. Um, they were both about the same to get off. The She Glam was a little bit tougher to get off um, than the Thrive one, but they both came off without pulling out any lashes or any significant tugging or anything like that that you might have with a waterproof mascara. So again, I'm going to use the these two in conjunction. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I'm going to do one on each eye. I'm going to do lengthening and then volumizing on one eye and then do the opposite on the other eye just to see how they perform well together. Um, I will say the Thrive one and even these ones, it, I can't do more than one coat really. If I do, it starts to go kind of clumpy and spidery on both of them. So this is good for like an everyday, I don't need the va va voom. It just looks really nice and gives me really lengthening mask uh, lashes. So I'm gonna see if I can like amp it up a bit with just the two because I don't mind doing two. I usually do an eye primer anyway um, if I'm using a waterproof mascara. So this is no big deal to me. So again, now I can't remember which one was which. One of them is, I can tell by the tubes. So let's get into it. <laughs> let's see. So this one will be the volumizing one and I'm gonna start this on my left eye. No, this is my right. <laughs> this is my right. Yes. So I'm going to put this on my right eye. I'm going to dip it back in just because it's air getting airy um, and try not to poke myself. They both are rubber, rubber bristle wands, same as the Thrive one. So yes, let's see. I've used it before, so I know I like it. I just 
Neither one of them, all three of them are lacking in some way. And I know putting eyeliner on is silly when you're doing a mascara kind of test, but I did it. I was inspired by a picture on Instagram that I looked at this morning, or no, not this morning, that I had saved, and then I went into my save file this morning on Instagram. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I found it. Okay. So this one is not very very lengthening, but I am getting a little bit of volume with it. Okay. I'm going to try not to mix these up. Okay, that's one coat, and then I'm going to go in with one coat of the volumizing so you can kind of see if there's a difference at all. I felt like, like there was <laughs> when I was testing them out, but we shall see. So yeah, I can definitely see a difference. Um, it's hard to tell, <laughs> but I feel like this one is a little bit more, they look a little bit longer and this one definitely does look volume, more volumized. So we're gonna see how well they build up on each other. So I'm gonna put the volumizing one on here um, and see if we go clumpy or not. And then I'll, no, this is the lengthening one. I apologize. I'm gonna put the lengthening one now on this side. I'm not, <sighs> okay. Is this gonna give me any more length? the thing they're a little the mascara is a little bit like goopy and sticky I don't feel like I'm getting volume I'm getting spider lashes I don't like that it's doing what it did with and the thrive one does it as well as soon as I put a second layer on it just they all clump together and go like spidery which some people like it's not really what I'm going for um okay so now I'm gonna put the volumizing one on this side I definitely like this one better it's more like fluttery and like full than this one, which is, it feels like it's more, I mean, it looks longer on the side, but it also, I'm not sure if I like the look of it. Okay. So that's the way it is. I'm just going to put some of the volume, some of the, this one on my lower lash line. <laughs> on both eyes. And that is everything that I got in my She Glam haul this time. I really enjoyed everything I used. Um, what am I going to say is my favorite? I think they're all my favorites, except maybe these. I was hoping for more. They're not bad by any means. They didn't transfer. They didn't smudge. They held up to what they're supposed to. I think depending on what you're looking for, if you have really full lashes and you're looking for length, I really think the volumizing one will, the lengthening one will do it for you because it did give me that length from root to tip. And I found that it did it better than this. Um, but if you're looking for something that's volumizing, I don't know if the volumizing one really gave me what I was looking for. So there's that. Now I do have them combined. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think that um, it worked out well or not? Um, I'll, again, I'll post a picture here. This is the Thrive and the volumizing one that I have on. The Thrive is on this side and the volumizing is on this eye. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. I like them. I'll use them up and we'll see. But uh, so far, I really like the Thrive one. I think it kind of gives me the best of both, but that's where I'm at on that. However, that eyebrow pen and pencil, if that holds up, that will be my new favorite. I really like how that one on my brows. I like the color of it. I like how it's worn so far. Like it's still still there. I don't want to touch it and take it off because it hasn't been on that long. Um, but I will see by the end of the day. Um, I don't know if I'll take a video or anything because I might forget, but hopefully I will remember to at least look at it before I take my makeup off so I can leave a comment down below to let you know how it wore throughout the day. As for the blushes and the contour, like the cream stuff and then the powder blush as well, those were really nice. They blended out really nice. I didn't have any problems with them. I think if you are looking at She Glam and you like cream products, that's something to check out. Um, yeah, so all in all, yeah, brushes were good. The stuff I tried was good. I like it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried anything from She Glam before and what are some favorites that you've enjoyed. I would love to check those out as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.